Hi, this is Julie Waldorf, juliewaldorf.com, and I have Dave Coffey here, who is from Minnesota. Hi, Dave. Hi, Julia. <laughs> and what you do, what you just explained to me, is you um, work as a teacher at a homeless shelter for kids. That is correct. I, I work at a place called St. Joseph's Home for Children, and, okay. and that place deals with kids with a variety of issues. Um, it's a place where they, they stay there. They're uh -huh. on the grounds. They get their education there. Uh -huh. And um, I work for the Minneapolis School District, and we provide education to St. Joe's. How many kids are there? Um, overall, in the program, there's 65 to 70 kids. I will deal with classrooms with eight or nine at a time, uh -huh. um, four hours a day. And I teach social studies and social skills to the kids. Uh -huh. and try to give them, no matter what situation they're in, try to give them some skills and some tools to take with them when they leave a very tough situation. Okay, so so once they're 18, then they are allowed to go leave? Or they, Every I'm a little yep. confused on how that program works. Is it if they're if they're in the system in trouble, then they're thrown in because they have nowhere to go. You're right, and um, every situation's a little bit different. But typically, if a kid's 18 and they're an adult, they have the right to walk out of there. But a lot of other situations, uh -huh. part of their sentence maybe for for whatever violations they've committed are there. Uh -huh. We have kids that uh, maybe their parents have gotten arrested or are in trouble, mm -hmm. and we also have kids that are there for just a temporary shelter because they don't have anywhere else to go. And they're not bad kids, they just have nowhere else to go. They're not bad kids, they have nowhere else to go. Some of them have made bad choices. So out um, of the 85, how many are those kids just kind of on the street having nowhere else to go, do you know? Out of those 85, I would say that probably 40 of them legitimately have serious issues with finding their next meal or their next place to actually sleep. So there you go, folks. Dave Coffey that's in the system helping the kids out that are homeless. Some are there voluntarily, some involuntary. About half. And this is the people that they know. Just think of all the kids that are running around there that we don't know. That are in warm spots like Central Coast California, Southern California. All the warm spots. How many kids are running around homeless. We got a problem on our hands, folks. We got to get our act together, don't you think? Dave, and that's one thing that's doing it, but it's not really solving the problem, is it? I agree 100%. There, there needs to be a solution. It seems like there's a lot of band-aids to problems that are out there, mm -hmm. but we really need to find a solution for the kids and the next part of our society. Yeah, because otherwise we're going to have a whole lot of trouble out there, I believe. That's so right. great. Well, thank you for letting me interview you, and thanks for helping the kids. Thank you, Julia. All right. Julie Waldorf, juliewaldorf.com. Bye-bye.